My beautiful Taurus friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now Taurus, this is your mid-February reading and I'm going to open your reading with a card from the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck and and then an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Taurus, let's open up your reading here, my friends, and see what it is that spirit would like you to know today. So what I'm going to do is read you the interpretation for the guidebook uh, for this card here. So King of Cups is coming through here. So this is all about um, calming your body water. This is what I'm picking up with this card, really developing this inner sanctuary for yourself, Taurus. So what I want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So King of Cups energy here, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and pull the interpretation. So feel free to take a look at the card and see how it resonates for you in your current life. So... <clears throat> The King of Cups stands in a bright and sunny landscape. In his right hand, he holds a sailing ship, keeping it balanced even against rough waves. The turbulent sea inside of him holds large fish, representing heavy emotions that churn within. Even during these rough times, the wise king remains calm and steady, withstanding every crashing wave. He manages to safeguard the ship, showing his caring and protective nature. So a lot of balance here, inner peace, even though things are turbulent within him and outside, I, I feel that this person has learned and developed the skill of really centering themselves. So this is the energy that is coming into your life that is available for you, Taurus. So the keywords for this card are calming demeanor, accepting stability, diplomacy, and steadiness. So perhaps some of you might be feeling like your emotions are all over the place. Perhaps you're feeling mo moody or you're just not tolerant of something or some things in your life. These are the kind of things that uh, spirit guides want you to build a relationship around, to build some strength with them so you're able to withstand them anytime you're feeling off, off balance with them, okay? So uh, let's pull three cards out of my tarot deck here. Eight of Wands coming up, so very fast-paced energy. A lot of incoming here for you, Taurus. So a lot of blessings, opportunities. You might be feeling this busy energy already. So again, centering yourself is going to help you move through it with ease. So Eight of Wands. We also have the Seven of Swords. So perhaps some of you are carrying around this churning energy within your stomach that makes your stomach churn. These are things that you hold close to you, things that you actually have to release. So perhaps there's some baggage that you're carrying around, deep hurts and pains, um, things that uh, aren't allowing you to tap into your full potential here at Taurus. So there's a, a release and letting go that needs to happen here with this card. So deep reflection, introspection, and there is that balance card coming in. So this is uh, the temperance card. Uh, it's all about bringing that uh, place of peace, calm, and balance into your life. Um, creating this in your life, developing these skills. So 
Um, this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So very intense energy. There is definitely change coming into your life right now, Taurus. Some of you are feeling the breeze of change. And um, <clears throat> it can throw us off sometimes, right? So before I begin... I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So lots of things going on here. I just feel some of you have a lot of responsibilities and obligations. You are running around like a chicken with your head cut off here, Taurus. Some of you, not everyone. We have the number eight here. We are in the year number eight numerology. This number is bringing in a lot of prosperity and abundance. You're putting a lot of energy out there, but you're also receiving energy incoming. And, you know, this is all about, again, creating that balance, self-regulation here, avoiding any kind of extremes and working through that flow of energy, that breeze that has come in rather than resisting it flowing with it right and that comes through balance that comes from this space which is the king of cups and this is what you are developing in your life right now uh taurus some of you are already in this place and i feel that um, you are grounded and you have found your inner sanctuary so you're seeing a lot of growth and perhaps you're facing something that's a little bit more busy or outside of the box, something that you haven't experienced before. So maybe this is throwing you out of your comfort zone. Not everyone is being thrown out of their comfort zones here. I just feel that whatever this wave of energy is that's coming in, it's bringing about a lot of change to your life, which is giving you, uh, which is uh, giving you the opportunity to really grow and expand in your life. And this is going to show up as you know, multiple job offers, those of you that have been applying for jobs. This is going to show up as multiple uh, offers of love uh, for those of you that are single and looking. This may show up as uh, opportunities for you to really grow or put your energy towards. I also feel that some of you have uh, your fingers in the pot in too many different things here and you have to decide what it is that you want to do. The one thing out of the many things that you have going on because um those of you that are wanting to see growth and success with a business project or just a project, a passion project, um, especially if you have many different things, you want to focus on the one first. Put all of your energy there to see if it grows. And once it starts to grow, you're able to branch out. But you want to start that growth with one thing first. If you're someone that is a multitasker, that can handle a lot because the multitasking energy is coming through this card here. Um, I feel you're doing really well. And I do feel that um, there's an expansion here happening with connections. So I do feel that some of you are going to expand and connect with different kinds of people. There's a lot of networking happening here. So growth in your business, growth in your customers, um, recognition of your energy here. So perhaps some of you are in the public eye or you're wanting to gain more views on your channel or grow your social media or your online presence. This is coming in as growth in those areas as well. So I'm seeing that some of you are going to start gaining subscribers, views, um, customers here, clients in your business. And I'm seeing travel here for you as well. So perhaps some of you are traveling, maybe you have a traveling vlog and this is what you do for a living. I feel there's going to be lots of different options and ways for you to kind of express your creativity in these endeavors, which are like really expanding the way that you create income in your life. So I feel for some of you, income is going to be very important, even though I don't have any income cards in the spread today. I'm seeing a lot of energy, money energy coming into your life through the eight of wands, prosperity and abundance, like opportunities that you're going to see, you're going to um, develop here through your inspiration. So I do feel that you have a lot of channels available for you to really tap into uh, on a spiritual level here to bring inspiration, insights, and ideas. So I feel some of you are talking amongst your peers. Maybe you're a part of a mastermind group, uh, Taurus, but I'm seeing you having conversations with other people where you're trying to come up with an idea or because you had a conversation with someone uh, an idea has sparked in your mind and you're about to take action on it. So this is an energy that comes through you and then you act on it, putting your energy towards it. This is how this is playing out. So um, 
what else is this? I feel renovations, like there's a lot of rearranging of things in your life right now as well that I'm picking up for some of you, like a lot of rearrange. So I don't know if any of you are moving or if you are um, renovating your home or just rearranging things, like sorting things out in your life. This could be friendships, this could be just habits or things that you're trying to implement in your life. This could be around belief systems and just information that you are receiving. It's almost like you're sorting, you're researching, you're kind of digging deep um, and really trying to figure things out around where you need to put your energy here. So there's almost like this organization happening here with this. So, um, but no, through this, you're going to see a lot of things happening very quickly in your life. And um, there's lots of blessings that are coming in as disguises as well. So I just want you all to be very aware of the incoming energies, to be open and receptive. Talking about open and receptive, this is a closed off energy. So those of you that are wanting to tune into your higher self, that are wanting to follow guidance from your intuition, you have to address something that has been weighing on you uh, very heavily. Some of you are actually hiding this. So I, I feel you're somebody that doesn't really share much. You're kind of closed off with your actual emotions and feelings. So perhaps you're not very upfront about yourself and the way that you're feeling about certain things. So this is where spirit guides really want you to communicate. A Taurus communication is going to be your superpower if you're able to release energies of things from your past things that you think about yourself maybe you feel like you're not worthy enough to be heard in the world or maybe someone said something to you that you're holding on to these could be grudges these could be resentments these could be things from your childhood um, that you just have been holding on to and it's now time to release these energies so um, if you take a look at this card there's a lot of light coming in so uh, a connection is trying to take place here for you to give you guidance on how to move forward through some sort of a situation or on how to release this energy. And I really feel that if you're able to implement uh, writing, automatic writing, writing down all of your thoughts, everything that's kind of whirling around in your mind, empty your mind of those thoughts, allowing room for new energy to come in, you're going to receive insights inspiration or guidance on how to navigate a certain situation in your life so very powerful energy wanting to enter your life and i do feel for some of you this is that new moon energy uh, through aquarius that is coming through um also pluto entering aquarius this is definitely a very strong aquarius presence here so perhaps there's an aquarius somewhere around you uh taurus um or it's just the energy that's uh, with the planetary alignments right now that are um, wanting uh, you or you're feeling this calling or this urge to speak your truth. And by you walking in that true essence of yourself, in your integrity, you're going to see things shifting in a big, big way here. But to kind of do this in a slower pace so you're not um, going through any kind of a shock symptom, right, where... You know, people are like, wow, you overnight just did a full on 180 degrees turn here, uh, Taurus, what is going on? So that shock factor is definitely present there. So balancing things out as you are moving towards this new journey, just um, doing your research and really doing some deep uh, reflection and introspection. So I'm getting the Hermit card coming up with this and I feel it's the number seven. So those of you that have been um, seeing the number sevens, this is all about doing some uh, inner work here and unboxing some of those shadows and um, kind of diving deep and building a relationship with, with uh, those shadows, um, turning them into your greatest strength here and walking through life, not being ashamed of yourself or your life's experiences because that's what makes you uniquely you, Taurus. So now I feel that... Um, Maybe you have somebody around you that is closed off and you're trying to um, communicate and help them open up. So I do feel there's this like nurturing caregiver energy coming through for some of you. So perhaps you're a nurse or you work uh, with the public here that has to do with um, giving care. So this could be in an old folks home or maybe you work in some rehabilitation center um, you know, a place like that where you're helping others and you're dealing with people that are closed off. So I'm picking up on that energy as well. So you want to keep yourself balanced if you are in a position like that, uh, Taurus, because that can take a toll on you, especially when you're an empathic. So um, just having some clear boundaries 
uh, around the energies that you take home or the ones that you allow to come into your life because you have to guard your energy and protect yourself building some so sort of uh, solid foundations in your life in all areas um, you know regarding your values and your beliefs and standing in integrity especially when you're being challenged by people or external influences self-regulation balance avoiding any kind of extremes moderation is required here that masculine feminine energy balancing that out so you know the feminine energy where you're open and receptive to everything that is incoming really nurturing yourself self-care is coming up really prominently for some of you as well um <clears throat> The masculine energy, um, being assertive, taking action, being focused, using discipline, consistency, all of that, right? So there needs to be this fine balance in your life. I feel some of you have already created this in your life and you're really treading through life with ease here. You are in this place of the King of Cups and all you're going to experience is a lot of growth here and you're someone that's really good with all sorts of energies here, Taurus, so... I'm just seeing this um, amazing experience coming in for you. Those of you that are ascending, especially to a new level, level new frequency here. Um, and uh, through that balance, really practicing, implementing things in your life like meditation, positive affirmations, prayers, yoga, eating healthy, breathing exercises. There's so many ways that you can create balance. And um, I feel someone is eating too much of something, something that's not good for you. So you wanna make sure that uh, you know the things that are healthy for you and you are uh, managing, uh, I'm getting weight here. So some of you are struggling with your weight or with your health right now. So bringing this to a place of balance. I feel there's something off balance in your life. That's why you're going through this. So doing your research, really looking at things on a more deeper level to see where um, where it is that you need to address something um, and, and your beliefs as well. So I feel you're off balance, some of you, especially if you're feeling like you're uh, going through any kind of turbulent energy around finances, around love, is to really dig deep and figure out what your belief system around these things are because sometimes we don't even realize that through our upbringing, through society, through schooling, education, reading, whatever it is in our life, we build up this belief system around certain things like money, for example, if you grew up poor, it probably felt like it's hard to get money. It's not easy to acquire. So there's almost like this um, energy around money where you have to work hard. There's some belief there that is working against you. This also um, is with love. So you want to create some sort of a good balance with all the things that you're trying to create in your life by digging deep to see if there are some sort of beliefs that are working against you here. And you know, as soon as you start dealing with all of these, uh, Taurus, you're going to see yourself opening up and you're going to be able to withstand any kind of a storm, any kind of change that comes in. You're really building your, yourself up stronger and creating this inner sanctuary, this place of centering and uh, dropping your anchor and knowing how to do that. So through consistency, through discipline, um, you know, structuring, laying those fall, uh, solid foundations in all areas of your life, you're going to experience a lot of good things coming your way here. A lot of happiness. I'm getting a lot of uh, feeling of whole, wholeness, fulfillment and satisfaction here as well through this. And uh, perhaps some of you have been seeing whales. I don't know if any of you are traveling, going on a cruise here or if you have recently seen some whales or sharks, this is coming up through this card, the King of Cups, uh, white birds as well. So I'm seeing some of you flying on a plane and traveling. So definitely in the cards, travel for you. Now, I'm gonna pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. So this is the deck here, everyone. And those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals or insects, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. And what I'm going to do is read you the interpretation from the guidebook, the oracle and the protection message today. So we're getting wombat spirit. I've never seen a wombat. I don't even know what this animal does, but be at home here at Taurus. And it has the number uh, 68 on the card. So perhaps this is a number of significance for some of you. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 68 days and then June and August being significant dates for you. Six to eight days, six to eight weeks, uh, six to eight months as well coming through. So let's read the interpretation here. 
Oh my goodness. Here we are. So be at home, Taurus. The oracle message is burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well-fed with family is a special trait of the wombat. Home sweet home is always avail available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat Spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting all your experience without judgment, through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life, with your family and your tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. You know, the other thing I'm getting here is that some of you are really good at um, <clears throat> becoming and adapting and being flexible. It's almost like a, a shapeshifter energy here where you know who you need to be in uh, any circumstance or situation. So very interesting energy coming through for you with this. Now the protection message is, could it be that you are not feeling comfortable in your own skin, Taurus, thinking that the only way you can be with others is to hide under the protection of a mask or identity you created to protect yourself from getting hurt? This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but it really just robs you of your integrity. Wombat Spirit arrives to nudge you to drop the false masks because it's not others who you will hurt now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you aren't being authentic. That's tapping into the Seven of Swords. It's okay though, you can course correct if you are willing to be yourself no matter what comes. Even if others are not in agreement with your authenticity, you are safe with spirit. So embrace Wombat Spirit here, uh, Taurus. So let's pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So quick results, number 25, 25, that's showing up in the eight of wands for you today. So you're going to experience a lot of quick results here. Taurus, get ready for this energy. If you've been seeing the number 25, 25 or twos and fives together, this is your confirmation today that quick results are definitely happening for you. So things are happening very fast in your life sooner than you had expected, Taurus. So get ready, everyone. Be ready for this energy so you can invite it in with open arms. It's gonna feel like a whirlwind of a ride and it's gonna be busy. Know that you're going to be busy. So organization, schedule, calendar are all going to be at play here. So. Quick results, everyone. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.